fish for a long time. It's a decent crock, is that? What a light year. Very young kid. Oh, that blows out, that'll do. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, it's not. Sorted. Oh. That's a decent start. Nice little pike on the light gear. First time I fished it in a long time. <laughs> decent fish. Let's get it back and I'll, I'll talk. Oh, good. Tell I'm rusty at this because I've just been talking to the camera for the last uh, minute and then realised I've not even turned it on. So this time I'm recording. Yeah, yeah, so my plan today started about four days ago and I want to go out on the river. Weather looked decent, a bit of wind coming in, so that was going to be good. Uh, but it looks like it's raining hills and basically over the last day or so the river's just come up and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be chasing floods and trying to find slack waters, it's just not as enjoyable. Not when you've been out. Not when you've been out for a while. Yeah, finding fish takes a bit of time. So I thought I'll go a little leisurely, stroll along a small canal, which I've not fished for a long time. First swim we're in, and uh, I've got a nice jack, that killer tail grub you've seen in my previous video. Why well, change those? And you know that works. So killer tail grub, quite a soft take, quite close to me. So I don't know, I had about five or six casts, something like that before. And the fish, so I'll do. So we're on to a good one. I'm going to explore, but like I said, I've got my small rod again, my perch rod, perch jack rod. Um, we'll go see what we can find. Might be some perch if we're lucky, um, because I've not fished here for a long time, so we're just going to have to get his, his uh, walking legs on and see what we can find. So, yeah, cheers for watching, hopefully we'll catch some more fish. Right. Let's go. Drag a bit. Tighten that drag a little bit up. You don't want to miss your fish on the on the strike. So sort of slightly. I like to have a little bit of a tight drag just to set the hook and then loosen off afterwards if I need to. This reel's knackered by the way, it's making some right noises. Real keeps sticking. Oop. Try and run it along the edge of it. Oh, 
Sticking somewhere. No. Is it catching on? I don't know. Keep moving, keep moving, keep casting. Ooh. up because you got a lot of runoff from the fields and it goes like a brown clay colour. It's not always the prettiest to look at that. It's a fish. Make it difficult. Oh that wind's making it difficult as well. You know, I'm not gonna walk down just yet but try and always make fish your near side margin before you walk down. Sometimes you just get fish just sat in the edge, taking a bit of shelter, so you don't want to walk down and scare them. So cast down it first before you walk it. It's tempting to dry a lot of lows at the moment. No. Caught a fish early doors. It's tempting to try a little jerk bait or a little crank, a little rapala or something to make some noise, but just go with a fear of it, that low works. You've seen it in my previous video, catch what? Ten pike on river. So we know it works. This canal's quite shallow. It's got decent clarity, it's not crystal clear, it's got a bit of clarity. It's not deep, so the pike can see it and they can feel it and they can hear it. Tuned in, so. Make it do something a little bit different from all the many fish that's in there and it will stand out from the crowd and get a pike's attention. Keep watching for anything else. It's a slightly it's a big enough low for a, a big perch, like a four pounder, but um or a three pounder. But uh just keep watching for any perch following. And if we do, switch down to a slightly smaller low. But at the minute I'm I don't know where the perch are. Hey, that got smacked by a, probably a perch. The reflexes were a bit slow, but it was definitely a hit, and it was probably a perch. Because even a small pike will take this, no problem. I've got big mouths. Let's just do a quick chain, just in case. <laughs> what a take! 
<laughs> what a tick! <laughs> well done, little kid. Well done, little kid. What a little beauty. <laughs> what a tick. What a little stunner. Kid, it. Highlight of my day, mate, already. Let go. Let go, you've got me tail. You've got me tail. Can you have my tail back, please? <sighs> little stunner. Let's go let's take a picture of this little bad boy. <laughs> hey kitty kid. What a little beauty. Cheers kiddo. Get on. Don't get eaten by a big pike. The definite difference with a take from a pike. I mean that pike lunged at the lure and you know proper whacked it even for a small fish. Where the perch just swims up behind it and nibbles it and sucks it in kind of thing. So you get a little thud. Or a big foot if it takes it properly, but like a pike lunges. That's different, so as soon as I hit I knew it was a pike, not a perch. Cracking take. If that had been a 20 pound pike hitting like that, it'd have pulled me in. I thought there was some perch there, but alas! It's a no. Right, we're gonna just chuck a different load on just to just to test something before I move on because I've got to walk a little bit further down there to get to fish again. So before I move, I'm just gonna try a, a little crank. Tangled. We're gonna actually, it's not it's not exactly um, murky. Basically I've got two boxes. A box of softies and a box of random cranks. Admittedly it's more more a summer setup but that's me. It's not a sex toy, that's my camera mount, so I'm testing something out. If you saw that first pike, I can quickly switch my camera onto that. At least it saves messing and I get a bit of a, a mug shot on. Just keeps smacking me at the back of the head though as I'm walking. Just have a few casts with this. Little, as you know, it's a noisy low, repile a jotted shad wrap. See if I can either catch a jack or, or actually spot some perch. It's not really time for fish to be chasing lows, uh, perch to be chasing lows, but you never know, still might be. After it's not that cold, it's a little bit warmer today, 11 degrees, believe it or not. Two days before Santa comes. So we'll just quickly some casts. Noisy vibration. If that don't work, we've covered this bit with one soft curly tail and one propeller. Well we use a little copy toe as well, didn't we? Small copy toe. No problem with this is well. Digs in a bit too much probably. But try and keep your rod up. It's not a, like I say, not a deep canal, so try and keep your rod up, keep the load up.
we go. That's what I wanted. What you've got on this canal is you've got like a channel runs down the middle, deeper channel, and then shallow on the edges. I just try and run it down the down the middle. Obviously not too close to the edges where you get weeds all the time. Just kid. Lovely. Cheers, lad. Get on. I've got my um, my tools on a little laggy, and it just fits in my Grundens trousers. I'm putting a laggy because it keeps falling out. And them ones that the flyboys have. Under the bridge. Yeah, oh, you sh straight away, man, straight away. Casting for so. I'm confident we're going to pick some more fish up as we go. Caught one in and had a, had a bump under that bridge, so we're going to cast back under that bridge once more in a minute and then move. I'll try, I say try, this wind's not making it easy, but try that margin there, that's it, lovely. No, no, man. No. I don't know if I can stand on that down there. It looks a bit, a little bit squidgy. I might not be coming back. I don't think I can do it. No. No, I definitely can't. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I used to come here with a long net. Uh, I don't know if this one reaches or not. So she'll have to have a look before I start fishing. Because... Oh yeah, I can. I can. With a little bit of effort. Oh, that was a fish. 
That was a thump, it was a little pike. I might just switch and put a little shadow on. Hi love. Okay, I've caught a few, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit better day for it, isn't it? It's alright, isn't it, yeah. But it's not raining. What are you doing with piking? Well yeah, pike or perch, anything will do, but it's yeah. pike I'm catching at the minute. Only after little ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bit of fun. Of course it is, it gets you out a bit. Yeah, it, it does, yeah. <laughs> hello. Hello. Are you alright? <laughs> yeah, you can say hello, can't you? Hello, Come on. Hello. <laughs> you alright? Come on. <laughs> I'm not that bad. <laughs> you alright? You alright? Come on then. Go say hello. Come on. No. no. I know. Good judge of character. See you later. Guess he's not a subscriber. Let's just let's just try a little shad. It's because I've missed a couple of little jacks, and let's be honest, I don't really care what I'm catching today. Big or small, you've got to love them all. Let's just try and get this camera angle. I'll just try under my feet before I catch a fish from up there again. Buzzers back out. Now downstream. Kez. Kez is back out. Back at that tree. There it is. Yes! Superb. I hope that GoPro was catching that. Obviously, it'll be quite far away, but it'll look like a tiny little thing, but. By the swans. Hello. Not got out for you. No, you're alright. Sorry. Ah, oh. come on, come on. You're alright. Sorry, mate. Come on. Get your send through. All right, dude. Well, there'll be no fish. I mean, let's be honest, we need, we need parking spots, so if anybody fishes this, they fish this bit, don't they? Doing exactly what I've done, so... Maybe the fish have seen it all, so let's have a few chucks, but then... We shall make a move, try and find some water that nobody's fishing. Years and years and years ago when I first started fishing this place, I used to catch quite a lot of fish here. In fact, I even used to bring the big lows. Even if it's a small canal, I did fish it with the big lows. I had some good fun. Never anything massive, but it does, it does hold a 20 or two and, on occasions, but I've never had a Massive, I think the biggest were about 15, but I had some good sport. I used to come and catch quite a lot of fish. I've not fished it for years. Now I just come and mess about with it like here if I fish it.
Oh, you fanny. Come on, Paul. Come on. You're fanny. What a right whack. I should have had that. I don't know why I didn't. No. You miss that. You know, pulled your hand off. Uh, no! What was that? What was that? I wonder if I ain't got... Come on, Faye. Right. That's just a root. Why my reflex is awesome when it's a root? And when the fish smacked it, I was like a wee fanny. Yep, that's better. That's better, Paul. That would maybe a wee. Oh, it's off. That would a perch. Oh, no! Ugh. That were a perch. That's a fish. Oh, funny! That were a pike. Right. That's not acceptable. Not acceptable, Paul. That jigged it is about as sharp as something that's not sharp. Right, so. I need to get a new jig head somewhere. Get everything but jig heads. Where's my jig heads? It's great having a bag with like all these compartments, but you can't remember which compartment's got your jig heads in. It best not be a compartment that's at home. Come on. No, no. There we go. A big bag of them. A big bag of them. <laughs> right, so. Not Lowe's working, I just need a. What we got? What we got? 10 gram, no. No. Mm, bit big. Bit big. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of four hours. 10 gram, two hours too heavy. Five gram, four out. Five gram, three out. He's the baby. Here's the baby.
missed two pike and lost a perch off. That tells me my hook's a bag of a bag of fish. I've got me. Somebody's taking the piss out of it. Somebody's taking the piss out of me. I'll tell you what, that clip's a bit dodgy as well. Let's go. I don't need that. I'll get Richard to get out. Change my clip as well. I feel that clip's at its day. Don't drop all your gear. That'll be a bother if you did. Right. This is gonna be fun. If you can, get your clip on before you take your other one out. Sometimes it might come on, come undone. Worst case is if it comes undone, you just tie another one, tie it back on. But I'm gonna take that one back off just because I do believe that clip's on its way out. I said it in one of my previous ones, you know, open, constantly opening and closing these clips, and it's not easy to see on there. My GoPro, but it gets really weak there. It's really weak here. And then basically, it snaps. And it's not too bad. Right. Let's not be losing any more fish. Please. Promising sign that I caught that I uh, hooked a perch there though, that's quite a good good sign. Right, let's get set. Right. New hook. Let's see. And try not to keep losing fish. Yeah, yeah. See? Sharp hooks. You can never overrate them. That hook that I had on before, it's almost in the river river hook and it's been banging on on rocks and things. I miss all them fish. And then straight away I catch one. Come on little fella. Thank you. Oh, oh, fingers. Fingers. Ow. Oh, bad boy. Cheers, kidder. That's better. 
lazy fishing, not changing hooks, not putting new hooks on, cost me cost me a pike up there, a pike here, a perch down there, and a pike down there. So if there's a lesson of today, it's don't be a tight ass. Put a put a new jig on. Don't shall I just call it that? I'm, I'm terrible at naming my YouTube videos. It takes me ages to come up with something good, catchy. So I shall just call it "Don't Be a Tight Ass." Yeah. Oh, uh, oh I've got cut. <gasps> oh no. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that with a tight ass. I missed those fish. Oh yeah, baby. Yes, mate. Now we're having fun. Now we're catching fish. Come on, little kid. Come on, little kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> it's a motorbike. Beauty. You've absolutely nailed that one, kid, haven't you? Absolutely nailed it. Yeah. Is my camera still recording? Here it is. Lovely. Beauty. Cheers, kid. Thank you. Today is a good day. Get it down there without getting that tree. Yeah, mate. That's how you do it. No hook and three fish in a row. I think this might be a perch. This might be a perch. Oh, no, it's a bike. It's a little baby pike. <laughs> well, <laughs> steady on, angry kid. <sighs> Come on, open your mouth, lad. Open your mouth. delicate with these little kids They're fragile little things could easily rip half his face off taking his hook out cheers little one Whoop. get on lad mint not that I'm trying to flog your lures but this actual lure you can buy them out of my river piker shop it's just a simple lure the hunt house shadow paddle sail and actually Leading up to Christmas, I had quite a few um, shop sales, so I appreciate every one of those. Uh, and I did actually um, put a free packet of these in quite a few people's because I bag up for them. And they're cheap and they catch fish. And people complicate things by buying all these branded lures that are spectacular names and got funky. YouTube characters selling them, etc.
Lovely little creatures. I don't know where I can get, but... Oosh! Oosh! I'm in a tree. I'm tangled. Ah, oh, shit. Right. If I can get down here, without sinking, at the start. It doesn't look like it. Any other fish apart from that peg that's next to me? Oh, neighbor, near mate. Let's go, let's go. Not had a fish for some time. Tell you what, it's a good job you haven't got smelly vision. Cause that absolutely reeks. Rotting, decaying plant matter for years and years when you're standing it it just comes up There's no fish. You know that plan of walking further away to catch fish that nobody fishes for? Oh, well, hello. Beauty. Not worth it just for that moment. I'm not always the best at reading, but that says Caution, large fish hiding under these power lines Probably is I can't get in It's thick oh, I think it's crazy oh, yeah. Struggled to get in a lot of it back there Come past loads of water, I just can't get for large brambles and trees and stuff which is a shame oh look at his ass but it is where it is 
can't see. To be fair, I won't really catch him, so I missed all the trees and brambles out, marched another few hundred metres. See if we can find some fish. There's a bridge up here, a little narrowing that we intend to target with a fish up to this bridge and see what happened. I've got plenty of fish like as you've seen. Just gone a bit quiet. super shallow canal there's plenty plenty of vis visibility here so especially these jacks you just need to cast and cover water don't try different tactics just cast and move keep going a good chunk of fish came from a, a little 50 60 meter section Ooh, that a fish. Like I said, it went quiet, so maybe everything's in certain spots. Little crazy guy. Come on. Uh -oh. Where's my lure? Where's my lure? Where are you going now? Right. Hey, kid. I'm gonna love you out of it in a jiffy. In a wee jiffy. Right. There we go. There we go. Here's a little kid. Has made me a peg. Oh, oh I'll do. I'm fishing. I'm fishing. I'm fishing. Here, yeah, mate. Yes, perfect. All you need is a little bit of water. You need another chance. Come on, kid. Go in that feed. Help him over. There we go, kid. There we go, little Ooh, don't go in that. Oh, teeth. That's part. I'll have to, I'll have to be throwing your kid. Get through that. There you go. Well, I'm just going to sink in. What reel shall I buy next? Answers in the comments. My day were Caldia expensive, must have been 30 quid. I think has had its day pretty much like this low to be honest. Ooh. We 
found a hole. We found a hole. Let's get in. Let's get in. Get off my leg. Shallow over there. Oh, little pike. Oh. <laughs> little pike, we're after him. Silly me. Yep. Oh, steady on Paul. Steady on Paul. You've got a mouthful, kid, haven't you? How am I going to get that out? Now this is possibly where it changes colour, just because we've got a dike. It runs into a canal here. Water drains off the field, comes in, but we'll see when we get here. A nice little feature either way. You're still going to catch in murky water. Don't, don't sweat it, it's just a different tactic. Why have I cast up there? Cast in front first, Paul. What you doing? Oh, my lord. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's it. End of, the, end of his working life. Oh, no. Right. As you can see, it's just thick with trees, barley trees, so he ain't getting in there, so that I'm going to call it a day. Got plenty of fish, had a good time. My drink's back in car, my food's back in car. I might say it looks like a long way down there before I even get anywhere near the fishing peg, so I'm gonna head back. Yeah, cheers for watching, as always. Hope oh, you enjoyed it. Good bit of sport, light like, like rod. Join again, simple. Just wanna catch fish. We ain't going for records, we're just catching some fish, and a lot of people have watched my stuff. Just wanna catch fish. No big egos, just want to get out there in your little bit of free time. So, yeah, I hope you've picked up a few tips. Make sure you get some sharp hooks on, makes a difference. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching. Don't forget, um, check below in the description for a, a link to my Just Giving page, doing a sponsored walk to raise money for muscular dystrophy in memory of my buddy Simon. Uh, cheers to all those that's already donated, much appreciated. I think I'm over £300 now, so that's brilliant, so thank you. I uh, hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year, and I shall uh, see you in my next video. Oh, it's a fall down. Not all.